In powerlifting the goal is to lift maximal weight and when pushing yourself to the limit you always risk pushing yourself over. The prime example of this is Alexander Sedink. A few months ago he became the biggest story in the sport, but it wasn't a positive one. Just like most powerlifters, Alexander was chasing PRs, but when he competed in the 2020 European Championship organized by the Russian Powerlifting Federation WRPF, he pushed it way beyond these limits, leading him to end up with torn quads and broken knees. With such a horrific accident, many were doubting if he would ever walk again. But now, just months after the accident, he seems to be making a remarkable recovery. But first, let's look what actually happened on the day Alexander last competed. The accident. Going into this meet, Alexander's all-time squat PR was 360 kg in reps. But back then he was competing in the 110 kg weight class and he has now moved up to 125. And this move up in weight meant he had made tremendous gains. He opened up with his previous max of 360 kg and he made it look effortlessly. Because of this he felt confident to make big jumps. And for his second attempt he went up to 380 kg. This proved to be a good decision because he still made it look easy. But then he made his fatal mistake. For his third he took another 20 kg jump, putting him 40 kg over his last PR. And immediately at walkout you could see something was wrong because he was very wobbly. He went for it anyway, but when he was at the bottom his knees just couldn't bear the pressure. He went to the bottom and disaster struck. And it seems that in that instant his career was cut short, as he screamed out in agony. The aftermath. Two days after the accident he posted that he came out of surgery. He had two torn quads that were reattached and his left knee was broken and reconstructed. This was the start of his long road to recovery. Improving quickly. At the end of September, a little under two months after the accident, he posted the following update video. He was working on getting his full range of motion back, but at the end of the video there was a big surprise. He was already doing some box squats with partial range of motion. Not only that, he was even using some light weight to do so. When many thought he could never walk again, he has shown that he could do way more than that in a short period of time. Thanks for watching everyone, please follow the notorious FIG on Instagram because he has been able to squat 601 pounds in his first equipped meet. If you enjoy these videos don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out one of the suggested videos displayed on the screen right now.